Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Craig. As you can see, we, uh, we have a little bit new setup. Um, actually moved everything over into the studio. So uh, we're going to be going through a few changes here, working out a few kinks, but we do appreciate you guys being patient with us as we try to deliver you guys a better product uh, on, on a regular basis. So let's talk about today's topic. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this particular study that came out relating to gun shows. That's right. They, uh, it was determined uh, by a study that was done by, uh, by UC Berkeley, also working with the UC Gun Violence Research Center in, uh, at uh, University of California at Davis, our good friend Garen Wintemute. Uh, they had determined that, uh, well, they wanted to take a look at gun shows. And now these gun shows, not are necessarily California gun shows, but they wanted to take a look at the impact on gun shows that take place in Nevada that are within one or two hours of the state of California or places within the state of California and determine whether or not there was an increase in gun violence. And let's take a real quick look at the story uh, and uh, then we can get an idea, give you an idea of what we're talking about and then we'll get into kind of some of the, some of the critiques of this particular study. Reuters has reported that a University of California Berkeley study released on Monday found that firearms-related deaths and injuries increased 70% in parts of California in the weeks after gun shows in neighboring Nevada, which has very few regulations on such events. The research could help prevent gun deaths by charting a pattern between where weapons are purchased at gun shows and where shootings are taking place. The study, which was partly funded by the National Institutes of Health, examined firearm injury rates before and after California and Nevada gun shows between 2005 and 2013 in areas of California near the shows. So uh, basically, as you can see there, is what they did was they took a look at firearm injury rates two weeks before and two weeks after gun shows that took place in Nevada that were within one driving distance here in the state of California. Now, there are a couple of, there are a couple of problems uh, with this particular study. Uh, the first of which is that, you know, how many gun sh the, the number of gun shows that take place in Nevada that are within driving distance. And the fact is, is, is if you looked at the, the, the research that they did, there are always gun shows taking place in Reno or Las Vegas. Um, there are very few periods of time that are not different uh, that are not different, uh, that are not, uh, uh, do, do not include two weeks before, two weeks after a gun show. So to say that the, that the firearms rate or to say that the firearms injury rate increases uh, is a little off because, once again, it doesn't take into account the number of gun shows that actually take place. It also doesn't take into account the fact that, well, let's see, purchasing a firearm out of state. See, you're only allowed to, you're not, first of all, you're not allowed to purchase a handgun uh, out from another state. That is a violation of federal law. And the other thing is that even if you are buying a, uh, even if you are buying a long gun, uh, uh, or at least purchase the gun show, um, if you are uh, purchasing a long gun, it has to be through a licensed dealer. Uh, it's once again the facts, in, the facts, and particularly laid out in this particular study, uh, uh, are completely off with the reality of of what is. And this is what happens when you come into something like this with a preconceived idea of how you're going to do it, uh, if, of, of what you want the outcome to be. You want the outcome to be, well, hey, uh, gun shows in states like Nevada where they sell guns, obviously uh, it's going to impact California gun violence because it couldn't be that, that California, California that people are purchased getting firearms illegally in spite of all the laws that we've passed here in California. That could not possibly be the problem. No, the problem has got to be the state of Nevada. Uh, but, but then the question, the question arises, well, how come gun rates, to gun, gun injury rates don't increase in Reno or uh, Las Vegas or in places within driving distance of, Ca of California? In those very same areas, how come uh, it doesn't increase there? If it's easier for criminals to get guns there, so are you saying that there are, are fewer criminals in Nevada? There's, you're a lot less likely, if someone is, lives in Nevada, they're a lot less likely to purchase a firearm and commit a crime, or purchase a firearm at a gun show and then go commit a crime. 
That must be what you're saying. So what you're saying is there's less criminals there per capita than there are here per capita. Really, that, 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 that's what you want to hang your hat on. I don't think so. Uh, you know, when I was in school, I, I learned something from a professor. And you, you guys heard me, once again, you've heard me say this before. They said there's lies, there's damn lies, and then there's statistics. Well, guess what? <laughs> these are not only statistics, but the, these are some damn lies. Um, it, and the thing is, is that they spent, what, $2.3 million on this particular study, on this <laughs> literal waste of time. Literal waste of something that is so easily that is so easily debunked, um, and it's kind of funny because they even say that our study suggests suggests. Now, mind you, it doesn't say that it proves anything. It just suggests that California's stricter gun laws is what's made the difference. Uh, no, that's because once again, criminals don't go to gun shows to get their guns. I'm not a criminal, so I can't say that I know. But I'm just going to guess, especially since uh, I don't know of any, any uh, dealers that are necessarily going to give up their license in order to, uh, in order to be able to sell uh, firearms to criminals. But hey, what, then again, what do I know? Let's see what you folks have to say on this, partic this particular topic. Um, says here, uh, I think it has nothing to do with academics. It's just another way antis to make us spend uh, more money trying to, trying to find our breaking point. Well, exactly. They want to make it difficult for people. See, they don't just, they, they, what they realize is, is they can't, they can't, it's not enough for them to infringe on the rights of Californians. Now they want to infringe on the rights of Nevadans by making it, uh, uh, by making it almost impossible for them to be able to purchase firearms there. Uh, nice new digs. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Any other comments? Well, so anyway, I mean, let's, let's really, let's think about, let's think about, uh, uh, where this is going and, and, and realizing once again, that their goal is, is not just to impact the lives of Californians. They realize that they're, they've been unable to implement, uh, their laws or their restrictive laws in states like Nevada. And so what they're trying to do is they're trying to find a way to reach beyond California's border uh, in order to be able to impact, uh, in order to be able to impact another state, in order to be able to say, look, if we, 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 we're, we've been successful in taking away the rights and restricting the rights of Californians, now let's go into Nevada. Now let's try and go into Oregon. Now let's try and go into Washington and let us seek to try and infringe upon their rights there. Anyway, that's really what all this is all about. And uh, uh, the good thing is, is that we have people like John Lott. We have groups like the Cal Guns Foundation. Uh, we have groups that are, are, are actively going out of their way to debunk a lot of these myths. And, uh, and I very much appreciate each and every one of them. Well, folks, uh, that's going to be it for today's Coffee with Craig. I appreciate you guys for, uh, uh, you know, for putting up with some of the technical difficulties. Uh, Trust me, you will see. I think that when we're all when it's all said and done, I think you're really going to like the, the the new product uh, that we're bringing to you because we're always trying to do better for you guys. Because well, we can't do this without you. Anyway, you folks, take care, uh, have a fun day, and remember, stay safe and stay free. If you like our videos, follow, subscribe, like, and share.